I'm the model officer and welcome to part 10 of how I do dioramas. So welcome back for episode 10 of the build series. In this episode we're going to concentrate on getting some paint down on our church. And I've gone ahead and done a little bit of work as before. Gone to my go-to primer from Ultimate Modeling Products and just primed the church in black as you can see. Now for a little bit of experiment we're going to use a product I've not used before and that's the stone grey set from Life Colour. And we're going to use the altar and we're just going to put a base coat down of the blue stone. Now I'll be honest with you, um, I did film the whole process that I did but unfortunately due to technical errors not all of it came out. But don't worry we're going to cover all of this again um, when I do a little bit of the same process on the church. Anyway, enough of that. Found the product to be okay. Not my favourite airbrush colour, but there you go. This is the result so far. So next we're going to use a, a stippling brush and we're going to stipple on the green stone. Then on top of that we're going to stipple on the light stone. And then on top of that we're going to go with some dark sandstone. Still not 100% happy and I did use a couple of other products from Model Colour but this is the effect that I got in the end. I quite like that. So you can see I've pre-sprayed the columns of the church with our dark sandstone and at the moment we're going to paint on our blue stone around the areas. That are, as I said we're going to repeat that process that we did on the altar for a little bit. Make it a little bit more fancy. So we're just going to quickly go around our um, pew seats within the walls. The one thing I did notice with this life colour was that um, if you put a bit of paint on and then dip your brush into some water and spread it around, you've got a much even, much more of an even coat on the balsa foam. So my advice would be to add a little bit of water to the product, thin it down a little bit and you'll get much better coverage. So there you go, that's the effect with the blue stone all ready for our next technique that we'll do on top of that. But just before I do that I want to go over our dark sandstone again with a paintbrush again using a little bit of water as I go along try and get a better coat on it this time around So just while we're doing this, let me just mention something else that I'm really passionate about. A charity called Models for Heroes. Their aim is to help serving and ex-service men and women recover from injuries and mental health issues by the power of model making. Now Malcolm over at Models for Heroes is in desperate need of supplies of equipment to assist in this therapeutic care. So if you're willing just to donate some money or some tools or paints, please pop over to the website. Now the link is in the description down below. And if you can, I would be very, very grateful if you could just spend a moment, see what great work they're doing and make a donation to this amazing cause. Anyway, thanks for listening to that and um, let's get back to the church. So there you go, there's the base coat on our dark sandstone all done. So 
So the next bit we're concentrating on is our bricks. We want to highlight our bricks, but we don't want to do all the same color. So what I did is I used seven different colors from model color. And I'm gonna show you the technique in which I used to create that effect right there. We're gonna use our wet palette. I've placed all the paints that I'm gonna use and try and do it in the order in which it's there, but I am gonna show you as I go along. So let's crack on. We're gonna get onto our first color and what we can do is just randomly place it around on the bricks that we want to highlight. It takes a bit of time this technique but I really really do enjoy it the randomness of it all so we're onto our third color just literally randomly placing around as we go So with all the bricks now painted, we're gonna come back to that to finish that effect off. Let's move on and let's try and bring the whole piece together by painting the walls. So as you can see, I've already painted some of the walls and I'm on my last one now. For this, I'm using model color 986 deck tan. This is gonna be applied over several coats, nice and thin coats building up the color bit by bit. So we're gonna use that primer color as our way of creating some shading within the paintwork. Gonna leave that to dry now, and this is the effect so far. We may have to do a little bit more touch up here and there. Okay, so now we're going to concentrate on our pew seats within the wall. And for this, I want a granite effect. So as you can see, I have already started doing this process. Quite like the way it's coming out. But I'm going to show you how I achieved that on our last panel. Really simple, you just build up by a stippling effect, layers of different colors. We're going to start off with bluestone just randomly placed around no specific order to it just want randomness then we're going to come back in with dark stone sometimes going over we already put down doesn't matter the two will, the two colors will merge and then we'll carry on with the other two colors for, until our end effect. I'm gonna leave that to dry now and this is the effect so far. So this is the moment would be great to call time on this particular video. As you can see, now we're bringing it alive with the paint. It's just really starting to, to dance at you through the screen. 
So, so enjoying it. Anyway, I desperately need a drink and I think I'm taking enough of your time. Thank you so much for watching the series. Thank you so much for all your comments. Please keep them coming and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and press that bell icon so you don't miss any future content. But from me, until next week, thank you so much and keep modeling.